So I'm here at ANC Games and I just got these two games right here. I didn't own that for my collection. I got that because it was, had a soundtrack and it was a big box. And I finally got my hands on Star Wars Battlefront 2. And this is uh, the store. Lots of games everywhere. One day we'll do a tour of this store if they permit me. This is uh, the PSP is the handheld ones. Yeah. So this had, so let me just check. So there's that there. Code Veronica X, two discs, and Resident Evil Zero for a whopping awesome good deal horror film movie type video games for fifty dollars. Right. Here you go, miss. No problem. There's the fifty dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you do have anything else uh, that you come uh, across, I'm keeping your number just in case. All right, perfect. So. All right, so I got fifty dollars in trade for all these items here. They're all like double stuff I didn't need. Uh, these are all empty cases, so they're all empty cases. Didn't need them, uh, and I traded these Lynx games away. And I got this game right here for the PSP for nine ninety nine. All right, so I picked up a few games right here, just disc only. We'll take, we'll show you guys later. And I got all these WWE figures for a whopping good total of forty dollars. It's pretty cool. Just uh, some of the newer figures. Um, yeah. Okay. Wow, perfect. If you want to take a look, this is the DS in here with the charger. If okay. you want to open it, why not? And there's forty games in total, or thirty-nine games. All right. Uh, what's in the beside the bag? Is it a surprise? Is a surprise for you? So oh, all right, I, I, I won't I won't show anyone, but uh, uh, I will. Uh, this is this is another DS. Actually. Oh, cool! But this is actually broken the screen. Okay, that's but fine. But what you can do is, if that one breaks, you can swap the screen. Okay. And you'll have a working uh working DS. Perfect. I charged it. You can open it, turn it on, take a look. The other one actually has a working. If you want to turn it on, and take a look too. I charged that too. Okay, that's fine. Oh, so, I see. So this one, so the screen's broken, right? But every still still works as normal. Okay. All you have to do, if that one breaks, yeah, uh, do the same for this. Just swap the screen, and this one is a working. Uh, All right. And you said two hundred dollars for everything. Yep. Perfect. This one. You want to open this? You want to check? Uh, I'll be okay. Sure? I, I trust you. So here's a. I actually used to have a 3DS, but I sold it. But it came with a case. Okay. So here's a case. Two empty uh, containers. Okay. No games. Uh, this is for the uh, for PC. If you want, if you game on PC. Sure. There's a controller for you. And like I said, a surprise! Games. Awesome. Research games. I I beat this one. What is? What are those? This is a uh, Hello Neighbors. Pretty much an escape a game where you escape from uh, okay. your neighbor. You go and break into his house and whatnot. <laughs> you try to escape. This is uh, like Penguin Wars. Pretty okay. much uh, penguins kill each other. These are blobs. This is like a game where you're trying to paint the structures and everything around yeah. to a certain color and beat the other guy before he does. That's perfect. So then... All right, thank you so much. So before starting off my video, I'd like to just say that WWE figures have been something that I never thought I was going to get into, but they do have a very good lucrative profit. I have sold a few of these already. I paid $40 for this entire lot right here. Um, the work on this and the craftsmanship on these toys is really cool so I got Razor Ramon I'm not gonna just show I'm not gonna show you all of them but I'm just gonna show you the detail on a lot of these figures is really good Roman Reigns Cesaro Shawn Michaels so basically they worked out to be a dollar a piece or a dollar and ten cents a piece uh, 38 times uh, divided by 40 so there's a, a Brock Lesnar so if you guys do find these in the wild, there's a huge demand for these. If you get them for relatively cheap, especially in garage sales, do get them. Garage sale season is done for me right now. But uh, just this is just a heads up for my friends uh, out there. For example, Transformers and Games, Retro Big J 86 check out his channel. Retro Steve Craig, also check out his channel. Contagious Collections. Um, they have all these cool things that they find at yard sales. I'm just trying to tell people that if you do find action figures, try finding these. You can relatively get them for cheap. There's a good turnaround profit. You can sell them on eBay. You can also sell them to local collectors. Like I said, I've already made my money back by selling, I think, three or four 
wrestlers. So do look into this. Now let's get on to the pickups I got this week. So the first two pickups are going to be added to my collection. I was actually looking for this game, Star Wars Battlefront. I haven't exactly played this game, but because it's on the PSP, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing it. I do uh, play this on the subway, uh, my PSP, so this will be a new game I will be playing. I just finished Justice League of America on the PSP. If you guys don't have that game, I highly recommend you get that game. It's a lot like X-Men Legends. And this is another game I got. Uh, it was just a box and it was complete. So I decided to get these two things. I have a feeling that in the future these games will be going up. So I got these from AMC Games. Uh, the second pickup was a pickup I did with a bunch of trades I got so I still do have $50 trade credit this was a $10 game I did see this at VGP and I did see this at the other ANC game store they were both going for about $24 so I thought $10 is a great deal on this it is the greatest hits version but unfortunately but it's fine so I did get these earlier on in the year uh, at the yard sale that I did uh, that big epic haul that I had uh, if you are new to this channel and you're seeing this for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. I do have a lot of content. I already found these games. Um, so these games are quite pricey for the GameCube. So I'm really happy to acquire doubles of this now. Um, these games uh, I paid $50 for. Originally it was $60, but I got the, her, the lady to drop it to $50. Um, and I was really happy with this pickup. So this should have been the pickup of the week, but it's not because it gets even better with a 3DS collection. So we're going to get into that next. So starting off, we're going to have, um, a broken 2DS. This is broken, uh, but the guy threw it in for free. Anything that's free is great. I can always, uh, trade this away for parts or maybe even sell it. Um, I did get a box and copy of Super Mario 7 pre-installed in the 2DS. Getting on to the games now. Which is pretty good for the price I paid. This worked out to be $5 a game. Uh, Smash Bros. including the system. So everything broke out to be $5. So Smash Brothers, Splinter Cell 3D. I don't own this, so that's going to be going into the collection. Battle Crasher. And I think this is my third copy. Monster Hunter. Mega Man Legacy Collection. This is a pretty good game, but it's it's all the games, uh, the original Mega Mans that are in this. That's okay. Uh, this is a very fun game. So I did get this with this lot not worth much but it's a fun game to play Sonic All-Stars transformed so in case uh, if someone knows about this game please do let me know how good it is Chronicles of the Samurai Warrior so I have this loose copy but I don't have it complete so now I got that complete This is a regular DS game. It's a Ben 10 game. Adventure Times. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Spider-Man. So I have this sealed and I don't have this loose. So this is going to be a game that I will be playing. Uh, the graphics are pretty good for a 3DS game. Like, just in general, this is uh, one of those better games that they made. Scribble Not Unmass. I have never played this game, so guys, let me know what's uh, uh, this game all about. I think it looks like a Battle Royale type of game. Uh, yeah, it looks like a Smash Brothers friendly type game. Tetris Ultimate, I don't have in the collection, so I'm going to be pretty excited to play this on my train ride. And I got a copy of Metroid Federation Force. So let's get on to the better games. So this is Cars 2, so I do know it's a lower end game. Green Lantern. 
NES Remix. Yume Yoko Watch Sealed. So that's a sealed game. I did get two sealed games here. But yeah, alone, this already, like what I'm going to be showing now, it already pays for the lot. Yume Yoko Watch. And Yume Yoko Watch 2. So I'm very happy to get this game now. Pokemon Mystery Super Dungeon. This is a sealed game. So I'm quite happy to own this. This is going up in value. I finally get my hands on this game right here. One Piece Ultimate World. I don't know too much about this game, but I believe this is a semi-rare game. Dragon Ball Z. A Shen Miyagi game. This is one of the better end games. Mario Party Island Tours. Finally got my hands on a copy of Hercule Warriors. So I'm quite happy to find that. I got myself finally a copy of Castlevania. So I've actually been wanting to get this game. I have a buddy Fabio Games. I got to message him. I got to tell him I already got this game. Super fun game. I've heard great reviews about this game. So I'm a proud owner of this game now. Now here comes... The big money makers. Um, well, not the money makers, but higher end games. Uh, Ultra Moon. Already these games are pretty good. Ultra Moon. Big shout out to VGP and my friends there. Uh, this is Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm super happy to get this as well. And I don't own this. So I got Fire Emblem Warriors. But... That still is not it. I still got more to show. So these are just two filler games I forgot to show. Um, My Sims Racing and FIFA 12. So I got this game complete in box. So this is a $50 game. And I got this game right here. Which unfortunately the box is in rough shape. But it, it does have... A value of $50 as well. Sadly, there's stickers in the front, but I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to remove them. A copy of Corpses P Party. This game is worth a lot of money. It's going up. Unfortunately, the box is in pretty bad condition, but I did get the two figurines and the games inside. So this is about a $80 game. Uh, my buddy at VGP was telling me about this on the PS Vita. Uh, he had it, but it was a, a last copy, so it was basically open copy. And the best game, or maybe the tied game with Corpus pa Party, would be this game right here, uh, Shanti. So uh, I got this game on eBay right now. I just checked it. It's about $70 game. So that was my overall week, guys. Let me know what you guys found yourselves um, out there. I know garage sailing season's over, but what were your pickups? And if so, let me know. And guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to make quick cash, WWE figures is a way to go. You usually should pay no more than 2 to $3 for them. And then you basically flip them for other video games, or you can use them uh, to get personal cash to pay for bills or add to your gaming collection. Thank you guys so much. I do know it's been a little while since I made a video, but whenever I make videos, uh, whenever I pick up any video games, I always make a little video and I get enough content to make a video. So thank you guys so much.